Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're going to look at meloxicam. Now under meloxicam we're going to tackle uses, dosage, interactions, side effects and so on. Now first of all, what is meloxicam? Now meloxicam is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug which can be abbreviated as NSAID of the oxicam family with anti-inflammatory analgesic and antipyretic properties this means it can be used as an anti-inflammatory can be used for pain it can also bring down fever now uses of meloxicum one it can be used in osteoarthritis it can be used in rheumatoid arthritis it can be using in al alkalosing spondylitis now the strength, meloxicam is usually available in uh, 7.5 mg and 15 mg, whether it's a tablet or whether it's a suppository, that's how it exists in strength. So the dosage, in osteoarthritis, um, the dosage is usually 7.5 mg per day. In rheumatoid arthritis, it's usually 15 mg per day. And in ankylosing spondylitis, it's usually 15 milligram per day. Although the dosage can also be altered to suit uh, each patient's needs, according to your doctor or pharmacist. Now, things to note before taking meloxicum. First of all, um, you should inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies, especially to aspirin, if you have asthma, peptic ulcers, if you have hepatic failure, renal failure, heart failure, you have any bleeding disorders, if you're pregnant or lactating. Now, drug interactions. Now, meloxicam can interact with other NSAIDs. It can interact with oral anticoagulants such as heparin and ticlopidine. It can, be, it can interact with lithium, methotrexate, and also intrauterine contraceptive devices. So it's very important before taking this drug, you inform your doctor or pharmacist if you're taking any other kind of medication to determine whether there is any interaction. Now, some of the side effects, the common side effects of meloxicam include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dyspepsia, constipation, headache, diarrhea. Also, it can cause gastrointestinal bleeding, though not so common. It can also cause skin rash. It can cause edema of the lower limbs. It can cause onset of asthma attack to individuals. Who are allergic to aspirin can cause vertigo. It can also cause drowsiness. Now that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.